Hi. So today my day started with a cup of coffee and I immediately started walking on a 25 minutes pomodoro technique and quickly jumped into the code which I have to finish and I started working on the human app. I spent almost 25 to 35 minutes on debugging one of the issue which I was facing while uploading the emotions for rendering. I have recently bought these new stickies which are generally used for keeping notes when you are reading something you can just paste them uh, any page or any article which you find interesting so i am currently reading this book i put some notes there and this is a practice i am starting to keep now before going to the gym i generally drink one glass of water with some salt on it this keeps the electrolyte balance in the body and i was just getting ready for my workout i generally work out for 55 minutes where like 35 minutes i generally run and 35 minutes i do like strength training with weights after coming back from the gym i started working again on the remotion feature after working for almost a one and a half hour session i went to the kitchen to help on making the lunch today we are making something different we are ditching the use of rice now because i have noticed after eating rice in lunch i generally feel very lethargic and it does not give me more energy so we are experimenting with cauliflower rice we made cauliflower rice with kadai paneer it was really really tasty after that i generally drink a diet coke Uh, so while working today in this session i was just exploring internet and i found out this really nice article let me just show you so here's the article and this is written by someone who has worked with open ai for more than a year and well let me just summarize what this engineer is telling all the models of ai for example llama uh, bard chat gpt claude all of them perform the similar output depending on what data we feed into because the architecture which uh, they use for training is entirely different for all of them and that has no effect on the output it produces that's what this guy is saying and well we have to understand from where it's coming from they have done all the training they know what the output is and they they know the in, inner engineering of their architecture uh, so generally in the end the data is the thing which we are really looking forward to and that's what i thought is happening with other models as well like uh, in case of llama because the mo- most of the model is trained on the data set of most of the users who are into the meta ecosystem like facebook instagram so it would not be that good in the output for coding related problems again this is my theory whereas cloud 3 like they have done they might have the access to the data of coding related and they might have emphasized more on coding related data sets so the output would be better there similarly in the future there would be these kind of models which will be trained specifically with the data set of very unique informations for example coding related data you would go to a certain model for social media or creativity you would go to a certain model because the data set will be that much refined not sure so but yeah this is very insightful yeah let us get back to the uh, the vlog now So after finishing my work and I immediately started uh, listening to this podcast I continued listening it I was listening it in the gym as well and I finished it off this is by Huberman this was on sleep how impactful sleep is generally when you are working and immediately after that I thought okay let's write one mini essay on what I have learned this is again a new practice I am trying to write anything which i learn which is really interesting to me so i'll do it every day sitting like 20 minutes writing it out and that's what i did i wrote this mini article uh, mini essay and i posted it on twitter later in the evening after finishing my work i went to the beach for watching the sunset and after that i quickly went to starbucks for having my hot chocolate i generally avoid drinking coffees after 12 pm i'm missing a lot on making my ai note app so what i'm doing is i'll be taking my laptop out the laptop will only be used for making that ai note app with xcode and in home i'll be working on other projects which i have like the human app or uh, like the designing and everything i can do in the home with my 
Mac Studio. But for working on my AI Notes app, I'll generally be going out and working on that. So I made a lot of progress. I sat there for almost one and a half hour, drank my hot coffee and finished uh, the onboarding one major screen. Basically the whole Xcode project setup integrated it with the Firebase, um, cloned the new repository from the template which I have already created for uh, like iOS maps. And at around eight, I finished all of my work, went back home and uh, had my dinner. It was a very, very productive session while sitting there. So I'm, I'll make it a habit to go out and work on this uh, AI Note app majorly outside the home. So I'll not be sitting at home. When I came back home, I found this new package which was there waiting for me. So I quickly opened it up. Uh, this is uh, a stand which I ordered for my desk. So I'm using these tripods which take a lot of space in my room. So I ordered these two clamps which you can connect in your desk and you can then mount your camera or your lights. So I'm using this now. Uh, I just installed it and now as you can see it show it, like I have installed my lights on it and I'll be using it for my camera. Okay, so this was my day uh, today in general and this is a new type of video creation I'm, I'm trying with this video where I'm not just talking in front of the camera but generally like making it as a side cam view and narrating it after coming back home. Uh, this is very easy for me. I can focus on my daily tasks, which I generally do and keep my camera on the side running and record those moments rather than specifically putting my my like time out and talking in front of the camera, which is a, which can become a bit distracting. And I have noticed uh, my productivity is declining due to that in the past couple of days. So I'll be trying this format for a while and let me know how do you like this kind of video. I'll be making more of such accountability videos. So generally all the things which I planned today are done. The remotion video download again, it's a very comp it's becoming too complex of a feature in general as deeper I'm going into it because well, <laughs> it's not easy to share all the complexities here in this video, but in general, like I have to do a lot of decluttering from my code, refactor a lot of my code to make it work. Maybe I'll make a video about it as well. But yeah, it's been going great and this is the, that's the major task for this week to finish the Remotion video download. So we are on track. Again, we are planning to release the app on 5th May and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.